Hey, what's going, on, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Real Sports Updates here. Back again, another video. <laughs> this is my reaction to game one of the uh, Boston Celtics against the uh, Brooklyn Nets. Um, the Net, uh, I'm sorry, the Celtics just pulled it out. Um, the last minute, uh, I'm excuse, excuse me, the last second layout by Jason Tatum um, sealed the game for the Celtics. They take a 1 0 lead in the series. Um, this was the most entertaining game, in my opinion, of the the playoff weekend so far. Um, opening the opening uh, weekend of the playoffs. This was the most entertaining game. Um, this was, I think, this series could be the best um, series of the first round. Uh, both of these teams are really good, um, and it sucks that one of them has to go home. Um, the Nets really. They played um, above their. They played a little bit above their potential. I think. Um, I don't think that the Nets are going to play this well in the series again, um, and I, I mean that collectively. Um, Kyrie Irving went off. He had 39 points. Um, he was very efficient as well too, and he knocked down some really clutch shots. Um, Kevin Durant didn't play his best. He only had 23 um, on nine of 24 shooting. Um, but they didn't really get anything else from anybody else. Um, Nick Claxton had 13, um, but his points come around the rim, you know, kind of cleaning stuff up. And then uh, Dragage had a pretty good game as well, too. He had 14 off the bench. So, but those are the only four guys who really had an impact on the game. Um, Bruce Brown, uh, he was not good. Um, you know, he's, he, he's a guy, he's been scoring, you know, 14 to 15 points a game. Uh, they're going to have to get that from him consistently um, if the Nets... Uh, have a chance to win the series. Um, Boston, on the other hand, though, Boston was very, they're very efficient and they have guys who can contribute at a high level um, and they can do this every night. Tatum is, you know, the star player. He went off for, for 31. Um, Al Horford had 20 um, and it, it didn't even really seem like he had 20. You know, I watched the game from start to finish and, you know, he kind of had a sneaky 20. Um, that's a sneaky 20 points right there that those performances in the playoffs really push teams, um, you know, over over that hump. The a, a secret twenty from from Horford. Um, I can't remember how many rebounds he had, but he had a very good game um, defensively as well too. Um, Jalen Brown had twenty three, um, and his twenty three was a little sneaky as well too. He he's a guy he he can go off. He can get hot at times. Um, his twenty three was um, quiet though. Um, and Marcus Smart had 20 as well, too. You know, Marcus Smart is a guy, uh, anytime you get, you know, more than 10 to 12 points from Marcus Smart, um, you can consider that a win because he does so much defensively. You know, he's all over the floor. Um, he does the hustle stuff. You know, he gets dirty. Um, so he is, he's a guy, if he's giving you 20 and he's contributing, you know, like he normally does on the defensive end, um, then he's having a really good game. And, you know, that's going towards, you know the team success um but you know th this is this is a series this might go seven i think um i think brooklyn will be okay if they're able to pull out game two um they they need to be able to pull out game two if they do they'll be okay and i think the series will go seven um boston was they they were rolling um you know after halftime you know third quarter they were rolling and it looked like they were going to be able to put the game away. Um, you know, they had a, they built up, I think a 14, 15 point lead or something like that. And it looked like they were going to be able to, to put it away, um, you know, kind of early, but you know, Kyrie Irving was really, he, he really, really was on fire, man. He, um, some of the shots that he makes are just ridiculous. And he does this, um, you know, consistently game after game. So he's a guy, you can count on him doing that. Um, KD, like I said, he didn't play his best game. Um, he wasn't awful, but he didn't play his best game. Um, I think if KD, if he, if KD has 30 this game, I think the, the Nets win this, um, you know, I think they win this going away, you know, by five to six points. Um, but the big thing that stands out with Brooklyn is that they have to get more production from, you know, not just their bench guys, but they need their starters to come in and give them more production. Um, you know, you look at a guy like Drummond, Andre Drummond, you know, he's not a guy, he's not counting on the score, but they have to be good around the rim. You know, they have to have guys, uh, you know, coming in, not missing layups, 
um, getting offensive rebounds, you know, cleaning up the boards. They have to do the little things because Brooklyn is they're at a um, they're at a concerted disadvantage in this series. Um, they're going to need Kyrie Irving and KD to go off every every single game if they want a chance to win this. Um, they need Bruce Brown to contribute. Um, they need you know more of what Dragic provided. Um, they need Claxton to to continue to to provide points as well too. Um, they, they're not in a they're not in a position to rely on these guys night in and night out. So you need everybody to give you something. You know, you, you don't you don't need a 20 point performance from anybody, but you need everybody to give you six to eight points um, consistently in the series. Um, and they, they got to lock in defensively as well, too. Um, the, the 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 big thing that stands out to me is the small ball that the Nets play. Um, that is not going to that's not going to cut it in the playoffs. Um, they can win this series if, like I said, if KD and Kyrie, if they go off and they go crazy, they can win this series, but the small ball that they play is not going to bode well in the playoffs. Um, even if the Nets do win the series, um, I think Boston is going to win the series. Um, if I had to bet, I would put my money on Boston. But if the Nets were to win the series, I don't think they get out of the second round. That small ball is just too... It, it, it's not efficient enough defensively and you know yes you can get the scoring from Katie and Kyrie but Boston was getting a bunch of layups they're getting a bunch a bunch of opportunities at the rim um especially in the first half um and in the beginning of the the, the second half as well too early in that third quarter they're getting getting a bunch of shots at the rim Horford um Daniel Tice uh Jason Tatum was driving to the rim there's nobody there there's nobody blocking shots um when Andre Drummond is not in the game, and you know they can't play him for long stretches because he's he's not um, he's not much of an offensive um, weapon, and you know everybody knows how bad of a free throw shooter he is as well too. So they cannot play Andre Drummond for long stretches, really long periods. So they have to play small ball at this point, and I don't think that it is conducive to winning. You know, especially if they have to go up against. You know, I think uh, the the winner of this series plays. The winner of, I think it's the Heat. Is it the Heat? And the, oh no, I think it might be Milwaukee and um, Chicago. So again, you know, that small ball is not going to bode well against Milwaukee. Milwaukee can go big. Um, you know, they can have Giannis at the five or they can have Giannis at the four. Brooke Lopez, you got two seven footers in there and now you're getting a bunch of shots at the rim. Um, and, you know, rebounding is, is going to suffer as well too. Um, the thing for the, the Nets, they have to be, efficient offensively they need to be efficient efficient offensively they cannot afford to turn the ball over because they are at a concerted disadvantage um and they have to be able to set their defense you know especially in in transition you know you don't have any big guys out there the guys are just driving to the rim they're dunking they're getting layups um and boston has a bunch of guys who you know from 6-3 to 6-8 who can you know dribble pass shoot they can shoot the three. They can do, you know, all the athletic stuff, and they can get to the hole. And I see, I seen a lot of that um, today. So that doesn't bode well for the Nets. But I think um, Boston will end up pulling the series out. Uh, if they pull Game Two out, then I think it goes six. Um, if Brooklyn is able to to pull Game Two out, then I think it might go seven. You know, just depending on how hot Kyrie Irving stays. And if Kevin Durant is able to get hot, you know, one of these games and go for 35 or 40 or whatever. But, you know, it, it'll just depend. And I, I think if if they do, if they do um, pull out game two, I think it's going to give them a little bit of momentum um, for game three uh, back in Brooklyn. So this is going to be a very interesting series. Um, this could be the most entertaining series, I think, in my opinion. Um, you know, I know the, the I did the video about the Jazz and the, the Mavericks. Um, that's an interesting series, like I said, from the injury perspective without Luka. But this one's going to be very entertaining. The offensive talent um, on both teams is very, very, very vast. Um, and uh, just the shot making that these guys are able to um, display, you know, in every one of these games is going to be um, incredible to watch. So I'm looking forward to game two. Um, you know, if I had to put any money down, I think... I think Brooklyn pulls out game two. I don't think Kevin Durant has um, a game like this uh, for the rest of the series. So 
I think Brooklyn pulls out a game two, and I think, you know, the series heads back to Brooklyn tied up 1-1. And then, you know, we'll see what happens from there. But this is going to be an interesting series. Um, very good game. Very, very good game. Came down to the last, last second. And, um, you know, this is what you want to see in the playoffs. This is a, a game that gets a lot of people watching, um, you know, especially in the fourth quarter. You know, you see a lot of big shot making, um, a lot of clutch shooting um, by both teams. And, you know, you have yourself one of the uh, the best playoff games so far. So, but that's all I got for this one, guys. Um, don't forget to give me a like. Uh, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel if, if you enjoy the content. Um, and that's all I got for this one, guys. Um, that's it. I'm going to go back and watch some more playoff games. And uh, maybe I'll be back tonight. Maybe not. We'll see. But that's all I got for this one. Until next time. Thank you.